Hello, I'm Oscar. This is Ayo and Jonathan. Over the next few videos, we're going to look at how to create a simple tune for a band. The main elements that we're going to look at are the drums, the bass, the chords and the melody. Now, if you're going to write a song for your own band, it's very important to know what all the different elements are doing and how they work together. So first off, we're going to look at the drums. There are three main elements that you'll usually hear in a tune on the drums. And this is the hi-hat, the snare, and the kick drum. All right, can you give us a little example of what they sound together? Okay, so we're gonna break down the beat and we're gonna start off with the kick drum. This is the pattern that we're gonna, that we're gonna look at. Now, if you don't have a drum kit at home, you can still make a sound that sounds like a drum kit with your body. We want a low pitch noise for the kick drum, so we're going to start off by stamping our feet on the floor. We're going to play this along with Ayo. So, one, two, three, four. And remember, you can pause the video and go back to practice this. So the next element we're going to look at is the snare drum. So this is going to be hitting on beats two and four. This is a very common rhythm that you hear in a lot of songs. It's often known as a backbeat. So let's hear this on its own. One, two, three, four. And we want a higher pitch noise to make this sound, so we're going to clap. Three, four. So now let's hear what these parts sound like together. One, two, three. So if you're a drummer playing this, a way that you can take this a bit further is with the hi-hat pattern. Now you could either play it with quavers, two, three, or with semi-quavers. Now we're going to stick with the semi-quavers for this because I like the way that sounds. So the next element of the music that we're going to look at is the bass line. The bass is very important because it lays a bed for the rest of the music to sit on. Now this bass line that we're going to learn starts on beat two, so it's important to count one beat before you come in. So let's hear it. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, we're going to start off by learning to sing this. Often when you're learning a part, it's very important to learn to sing it first because it helps you to internalize it. Okay, one, two, three, four, one. Three, four. 
So now we're going to learn to play this bass line on our instruments. Start off by trying to learn this by ear. It's really going to help you to remember it and internalize it. These are the notes in the bass line. So A, A, E, C, A, A, E, C, D, D, C, D, D, A, A, E, C, A, A, E, C, D, D, C, D, D, A, A, E, C, A, A, E, C, D, D, C, D, D. Now there will be an accompanying sheet to help you with working this out if you need it. Remember if you're playing an instrument in a different key, like a trumpet, a saxophone or a clarinet, your notes are going to be different and this will be written out for you. So now we're going to try playing the bass line round and round with the band. Remember at any point you can pause this and go back and just keep trying to play it till you've got it. All right. One, two, three, four. So there's a separate audio file of the drum beat which you can download and practice along with. Now if you want to take this further, you can try creating your own bass line to go along with this groove. And if you're a drummer, try adding a fill at the end of every four bars. Now I'm going to let Jonathan and Ayo play you out with a little example of what you could do. That's the funk.